Today I'll be showing you how to do this. The classic end credits using Adobe Premiere Pro. Everything from having it start off screen, uh, having it end like this where it'll come up, slow down, stop, and dissolve out. So, let's get right into it. Title, new title, default role. Now I like to make sure I am very specific with my naming conventions because when you're working with the larger files you're working with, the more complex, the more things that are going on, uh, the easier it is to get very disorganized and it's really gonna slow you down. So take the extra few seconds and properly name this thing. All right, so we're going to uh, make sure that the type tool is activated. Start from one end of the safe zone to the other. Let go. There you go. And you can start typing here. Uh, and choose a font that's very easy to read. There's no reason to get fancy here. You want it, uh, you know, as this is scrolling by, you want your audience to be able to read it. You want your cast and crew to be able to see their name up there and uh, know that others can as well. So it's important to have this thing, um, you know, very legible. Now, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. You can, um, you know, have the movie, you know, the movie title here. You know, and and go from there. Now, what I like to do personally is start it in a word processing software, just like Microsoft Word. It's just easier to type in here. It's not going to say the formatting uh, exactly on here, just so you are mentally prepared. I just hit Control A to copy everything, Control C, and uh, Control V, and I pasted it in here. Now, Control A again, it highlights everything. You can change the font size so it's a little bit smaller. Um, I'd increase the leading a little bit, meaning the space between all the lines, just a touch, so it's not on top of each other, and I center justify it. Now, there's a million different ways you can do this type of thing. This is the simplest, and it just gets the job done here in Premiere uh, without getting some kind of a third-party software or plugin. Uh, and then format it to your liking. And one thing to take note of as well is um, there's a little plus sign right here in the lower right hand corner. That means there's more text here than what you're seeing. If you hold down the control button on a PC or command on a Mac, you can see these four little squares uh, in the middle of each line here. So hold that down and you can now see and scroll down everything else. All right, now with that, We've got everything here. Uh, let's format it to our liking. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I will fast forward to spare you the uh, boringness of me doing that. All right, so let's say, yeah, that, that's how we want it. Now, this, this part here is what separates the boys from the men, the girls from the women. Right up here in the corner, roll crawl options. Click on that. Now obviously type the, the title type is roll because that's what we've selected earlier on. The timing, uh, you want it to start off screen. That's the classic style. You can end off screen or what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have it do a, a, a dissolve to black, which isn't as common, but uh, it's just a different way of doing it. If you do want it to just go ahead and the last text just scrolls and so the audience is looking at a black screen, you just click that. I'm going to uncheck it. So since I'm not having it end off screen, it's going to end on screen. Uh, I'm going to change the ease out time. Now the ease in is how fast it starts from a stop to get, get to full speed. Since it's starting off screen, we don't have to worry about that. Ease out, uh, we will change that. And this is in frames, not in seconds. Now, I shot this uh, in NTSC. The standard for that is 30 frames a second. Uh, you could possibly shoot in 60 as well. Uh, if you are uh, on a PAL mode, European uh, standard, it would be 25 frames a second or 50 frames a second. Uh, for extra smooth uh, motion. Since we are on NTSC, uh, I will say, uh, let's say 30 frames, which is one second ease out. Uh, it may not be, uh, it may be too fast, but we'll see. Let me close this, grab the end title out of here and just drop it at the end. Now I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna press the plus sign right next to the backspace key and that'll zoom in to wherever I have this. All that text I just wrote is within this two second roughly, two second, two fr 12 frame uh, clip. So it's gonna go by real fast, so watch this. It's gonna start off screen, zip by you, and it's gonna end on screen. Way too fast. 
trial and error. Let's pull this out. See how fast this goes. Still a bit too fast. Better, a little fast, uh, a little on the fast side, but let's take a look at this end part here. All right, ends a little too high up. So let's just double click on this end title and futz with it just a little bit so it is not so high up. Perfect. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're also going to have it hold at the end just a little bit. The post roll, let's say we're going to hold that for uh, another second. So that's 30 frames. Okay, let's watch that. Boom. Okay. Now let's have this dissolve out. Now I'm going to click, see this, how it goes red? I'm going to click that so now uh, the absolute end of that clip is highlighted. Hold down control and hit D and it will apply a cross dissolve to uh, the end of that. So let's watch that through one more time. Just the end. Comes up, slows down, stops, holds, and fades out. There we go. Beautiful. Now, of course, if you wanted to do a, a more dramatic, slower dissolve out, just obviously increase that dissolve. And there you have it. And you're good to go. That is how you create a rolling title in Adobe Premiere Pro. Well, I hope that really helped you guys out. Uh, feel free to hit subscribe. I do have new tips, tricks, tutorials, things like that coming out every single Tuesday. And have a great day. Good luck with your project.